Valor and Department Awards presentation, award group number five. This is a, a complex award. Um, we're gonna start with the Valor Awards. So when I call your name, um, if you could come up on uh, the stage here for the Valor Awards, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna provide um, those plaques to the Valor Award recipients. And while the Valor Award recipients are standing up here, I'm then gonna call in uh, all the groups for the, the Meritorious Team Award. And we're all gonna be on stage at the end uh, when we'll go through uh, this mass casualty incident. Okay? Let's start off. Valor Honorees, Mount Olive Township Police Department. May I have the Chief of Police, Stephen Beecher, please? And Valor Award recipients, Officer Lonnie Elbaum, Officer Anthony Gardner, Detective Corporal Eric Krauss, Officer Tyler Maluli, Corporal Marianne Wurkenberg, from the Neckon Borough Police Department. May I have the Chief of Police, Chief James Blesson. Valor Award recipient, Patrolman Thomas Borgen. From the New Jersey State Police, Neckon Station. Can I please have the Colonel and Captain Diaz and Lieutenant of the Station, please? And Valor Award recipients, Trooper One, David Dabrowski and Trooper Michael Sweeney. <laughs> Award group number five for Department of Plaques. We're gonna go through this incident, but this is a perfect example of what happens here in this environment here in Morris County. You have your first responders, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna learn that within seven minutes on this incident that all the patients were removed from the vehicle. <coughs> the assessments were being done in a, in a tragic environment. And you can see that, the heroic actions of these officers. But you can only do it with all these other disciplines that were there. And we all, we all know that very appreciative of all of you who participated in this worst day scenario. Atlantic Ambulance Corporation, accepting the plaque, Glenn Dietz. If you can come up, please. Bud Lake Fire Company Number One, Chief Michael Dorland. Flanders Fire and Rescue Company Number One, Chief Tyler Wargo. Hackettstown Medical Center Emergency Department, Joe DiPaolo. From the Morris County Department of Law and Public Safety, Scott DiGirolamo. From the Morris County Communications Division, Chief Michael Peebles. From the Morris County Office of Emergency Management, our Director, Jeffrey Paul. From the Mount Olive Township Police Department, Chief Stephen Beecher. From the Mount Olive Township Office of the Fire Marshal, Fire Marshal Frederick DeToro. New Jersey State Police, accepting the plaque, Colonel Patrick Callahan. Parchroy Emergency Medical Services, Chief Dean Schnook. Roxbury Township, Company Number Two, Fire and EMS, Chief Robert Hackett. And for St. Clair's Denville Hospital Emergency Room, St. Clair's Dover Hospital Emergency Room, and St. Clair's Health EMS, Vito Cicchetti. From the Sabbath Emergency Department at Marstown Medical Center, Dr. Louis DeFazio. Stanhope Neckon American Legion Ambulance Corps, Captain Derek Koken. May 17, 2018 was a day that we hoped would never happen. At 10.20 a.m., numerous 911 calls started to flood both the, the Mount Olive Township Police Department Dispatch Center and the Morris County Communications Division. Frantic callers reported that a fully loaded school bus of children had crashed and overturned on Interstate 80 in Mount Olive Township. Children and adult chaperones were reportedly injured with some in critical condition. The Mount Olive Township Police 
EMS and fire agencies, inclusive of Bud Lake Fire Company Number One, Flanders Fire and Rescue Company Number One, and the Mount Olive Township Office of the Fire Marshal, were immediately dispatched to the scene along with the New Jersey State Police. Simultaneously, Atlantic Ambulance Corporation, St. Clair's Health EMS, and the Marsh County Office of Emergency Management were immediately dispatched to the scene as well. The Morris County Communications Division quickly activated the Morris County Mass Casualty Assets, which included the numerous departments being honored here this evening. What happened next was truly remarkable. Upon the arrival of the first units on scene, the comprehensive scene size up gave both dispatch centers and other response units enough information to immediately dispatch and ensure that we had enough ambulances and emergency response assets being requested to respond. The high level of responding assets were also achieved with assistance from our out of county partners in Sussex and Warren, who each sent ambulances to the scene as well. Within the first seven minutes, Mount Olive Township Police Department, along with multiple fire and EMS agencies on scene, had managed, had, had the mangled and overturned bus cleared of all patients. The next, the next significant challenge was the triage of 46 patients in a variety of medical conditions who were spread out along the grassy median and highway. This challenge was accomplished through a multi-agency, multi-discipline response inclusive of two hospital-based response teams to what many described as a worst day scenario. Although the teams had two patients who were deceased on scene, the injuries which were sustained to both patients were so significant that no action by EMS or hospital personnel could have changed the tragic outcome. Our thoughts and prayers remain with the deceased victims and their families, as well as others impacted by this overall incident. The triage and transportation process for the injured patients was fundamental to the ultimate success of the patient outcomes. The variety of medical conditions amongst the patients included some with significant and critical injuries who needed rapid transport to a trauma center. Some patients ultimately ended up crashing or coding when they entered into the emergency room at local hospitals and required immediately life-saving interventions. Additional on-scene or transport time would have proven problematic for these positive patient outcomes. In addition, many children were continually being reassessed during the triage phase at the scene of the incident and during transport with noted decompensation status changes occurring during the reassessment. Changes in patient status ultimately changed hospital destinations as well as the mode of transportation for some of the injured. Everyone that was treated and transported is alive today because of the aggressive triage and reassessment process and a complete system of care. The successful outcomes were not the result of any one agency or any one individual. This was the result of one unified team of professionals from dispatch to police, EMS, fire, hospital-based BLS, ALS systems, emergency room staff, trauma teams, surgical staff, countless medical staff departments, hospital patient liaison teams, human services and mental health teams, and the countless other professionals who played a part in the response as well as the recovery. May 17, 2018 was a difficult day for many. It was also a proud day for our Morris County EMS Police Fire OEM and the overall patient care continuum from dispatch to the street and ultimately to the hospital. This MCI, this mass casualty incident, was managed in a professional and exemplary manner. And every responder stepped up to the plate to do what was needed in order to save lives. We often say that we train for the day that we hope never happens. But in this case, it happened, and all of our responders involved in this incident should be extremely proud of the role they played, as well as the positive outcome. You know, I would, I would say, in talking to many people that were at this scene, that you'd have a hard time differentiating between police, fire, EMS, and the state police on this scene because they were one. They were one. And that's why there were good outcomes here. And people survived this incident because it was seamless. And just proud 
to be up here even talking about it. With this group of heroes who, you know, when an accident happens, we're talking seven minutes to get assessments on patients, get them out of the vehicles, there's still people running up and down the highway. It's a dangerous environment. Highways are dangerous environments. You know, but you wouldn't know it from these people. If you listen to the radio traffic, all professional. They did their job. God bless each and every one of you. I'll tell you that, you did a hell of a job.